Hey everyone, this is the Traveling Tacos. Today is some sort of Friday before Thanksgiving. I'm at A Basin for the first time ever skiing with my girlfriend Cassie. It's gonna be a fun time. First time hitting the slopes for the year. <sighs> Realized first time hitting the slopes for the year, I forgot my GoPro mount. So we'll see how much footage I actually get. Only about two runs are open. So it's gonna be a fun November ski day right before Thanksgiving break. Time to hit it. Nothing better than a ham on a cold day. <laughs> back home. A Basin was great today, but I will say since I had to pay for a single day pass since it's an, I don't have a pass, um, Arapaho Basin's on the Icon Pass and uh, since I had to pay for a full day pass I'll say that the two runs that were open really weren't 
worth the money, I'll be totally honest. Um, hopefully, though, more runs will be opening soon. It's November 18th today, so it's the week right before Thanksgiving break. I think that they're expecting to have a lot more runs open over Thanksgiving, so if you can hold off, I highly, highly recommend it. I can't wait to see what the rest of it looks like, but the runs that were open didn't even go to the top of the mountain, so kind of don't recommend it at this moment. But Loveland Pass was incredible. I have never gone backcountry skiing before and it was relatively easy. It was a little steep, but I'll say we've gotten more advanced in our skiing. So I felt pretty comfortable doing it. And my friend Cassie's a pretty good snowboarder. So we had no problems, but I hate that my GoPro died. I didn't get a single video from Loveland Pass. Um, so if anybody has any advice on how to keep my GoPro warm and how to keep my batteries charged longer, I would greatly appreciate it because the same battery right now is saying 86% but yet wouldn't turn on on the mountain because it was too cold. So keep my batteries like in my socks, in my, try to keep them warm but of course when the camera's out in the cold it dies really fast. So if anybody has any advice on how I can keep these batteries going longer, I'd greatly appreciate it. I've got a GoPro 10, maybe I just need to upgrade it or something, but uh, if anybody's got any advice, please let me know. I also want to say that these Ponza Ski protectors that I got are awesome. I now have one over my bindings too. Um, it was really nice when we were throwing stuff in and out of the cars, especially when we hitchhiked and I threw stuff in somebody's trunk. It was really cool to know that my stuff was protected. So just wanted to give a little update share about that because those are two things that um, I really am enjoying. And those Ponzo Ski um, protectors are something brand new I just got. This is my first time using them. So I highly recommend them. Definitely reach out and look out for their products. So it's gonna be another great ski season and I absolutely cannot wait to get out and hopefully get more footage, go back to Loveland Pass, maybe actually fly my drone once or twice. So it's gonna be sick. I can't wait. It's just getting started. Oh,